everybody. Welcome. Welcome, 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 welcome to the June Town Hall. I'm your host, Castar Hasbro. It's hard. It's not Quebec or anything else. It's Castar. Oh, come on, nah. What's wrong with the stinking mic? Oh, no. Oh, no. Why is my mic so dog shit, you guys? Why is it so bad? Okay, testing, 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 testing. Are we good? Are we fine? Are we good? Are we fine? All right. I'm just not going to touch it. I'm just not going to touch it. I think it pops when I touch it. I'm just not going to touch it, all right? Okay, 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 okay. What do we have on the docket for today? Well, uh, we got a couple couple things coming up. Uh, nope, it's not Qatar. It's Castar. Um, I am going to talk a little bit about this month, how it's been, how we've been doing. Uh, and spoiler alert, it's overall pretty good month. Uh, then I'm going to talk about some stuff on the horizon with the upcoming planet side updates, as well as some other stuff in the works. And then I'm going to pass it on over to Horace, who's going to be talking about OSN and the Officer Academy and cool shit like that. And then I'm going to pass it on over to Mike, who's going to talk about 895 and the Ops Nights and stuff and a bunch of cool crap like that. And then we're going to have a Q&A. It's going to be pretty simple. It's going to be pretty chill. Town hall, everybody. So just sit back, relax, listen to more Disney music like games put on for us earlier, and just enjoy it, you know? Just take it, take a little bit. Um, <laughs> I, no, definitely not. Just give me, give me bundles in game, okay? Give me bundles in game, and that'll fix my mic. Um, all right. So let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. This month, what has happened? It's been, overall, I would characterize... Maybe some would disagree, but I would characterize this month as more of a sort of stabilizing, reinforcing preparation month. Uh, academies have been getting back on their feet. We've been seeing the trainings and the number of trainings risely, steadily, steadily, steadily rising. Ah, there you go. Um, and pretty good in-game activity as well. We've seen some new leads coming up. Uh, you know who you are. You've been stepping up. You've been trying it out. You've been giving it a shot. You've been learning the ropes. And uh, it's been fantastic. We've seen some some great coordination. We've seen some difficulties for sure, but overall, I would say a pretty solid and uh, progressive month for the outfit. No doubt about it. Um, definitely, uh, for other people who are interested in academies and leadership, we highly encourage you to give it a shot to check it out. Um, whether you're totally not confident at all in leadership or if you're way overconfident and you think you'd be the best leader ever you should join the officer's academy anyway uh, and again horace is going to talk a little bit more about that later um what else happened this month we had some fantastic bastion pulls uh, especially during the bastion smash event a big shout out to mike and also orby for their organization around that that was a fucking fantastic event so good also props to gade who piloted the bastion i believe um, and yeah man that was a good event so people if you want to be included in these kinds of events where if you weren't there by the way it was a chain pulling of bastion after bastion after bastion for an entire alert where all factions had their bastion there constantly it was fucking fantastic uh if you want to be informed about those events then you got to sign up for some pings gotta make sure you have that flash news ping maybe even the operations ping um which you can always find of course in Roll academy regiment info channel up by the top of the discord at the level uh, orange book. Um, let's see, what else do we got? Uh, also, yeah, quick info on Bastion. A friendly farm is going to be pulling a Bastion uh, later this week on, I believe, Tuesday at 5. So definitely stay tuned for that. Um, yeah, more Bastions. Bastions on Bastion of Bastions. Also, if you would like to request a Bastion pull of your own, we now have the Armory Requests channel. Which is uh, which is going to have everything there for you, all the info needed for requesting either a Colossus or a Bastion, and big ups to our Orbital Strike News team who's been a putting out fantastic fucking Orbital Strike News articles every week. Thank you uh, to, of course, Fox for setting it up, Horus Deal, Ross Kronk, Unknown, everybody working on that. It's been brilliant. It's looking beautiful, um, and also for man now managing these Bastion requests doing a fantastic job keeping that actually for the first time in Eskel's history steady. It actually works. We actually aren't totally confused about when Bastions are being pulled. So that's fantastic. 
Um, and always check, always check Orbital Strike News. What a great article every week, huh? Big ups to Orbital Strike News. Um, of course, the month has not been 100% smooth sailing. We've had some some somewhat major hiccups uh, from the outfit voice chat glitches with the hot making and stuff like that that we had to fiddle around with for a while. To, of course, the uh, wonderful human being who kept on joining the outfit and spamming racist slurs and various other harassment into our platoons and outfit. That's always wonderful. I love that people like that exist out there. Um, but fortunately, due to the quick action of... Um, Horus and a number of other abathurs and such inside of our outfit, we were able to mostly manage that, and also all you wonderful people reporting that person's accounts until they ultimately were, it seems, uh, permanently banned. Um, so thank you very much for that. Uh, I think we've mostly gotten rid of that problem. Uh, and we're staying vigilant regardless and and keeping it, keeping it locked down. Um, Discord, if you did not notice already, this was talked about in a couple of announcements, but just to run over it, we had a bunch of Discord changes, if you didn't notice already. Um, lots of stuff was coalesced. We've got um, some channels were deleted, some channels were combined. Uh, our roles are a lot more synced now. Um, and to be clear, uh, we've made it so Flash News is basically just our announcements pin. So if you haven't gotten the flash news role already you can get it from role academy regiment info just by clicking on the little flash news button at the bottom there um and also i believe we implemented this that all new members are automatically given that ping as well uh, we we're thinking maybe we just give it to everybody but then we're like eh, some people specifically didn't click on it so we won't we won't push that on everybody but it is there now as a default so i highly recommend that you get that and also operations if you want to know when platoons are being hosted um and yeah also uh thank you everybody who's been filing feedback reports it's been very helpful we appreciate you very much if you haven't uh filed one before then hey if you ever are in a platoon you ever see a leader doing anything um always feel free to drop in a feedback report and let us know your thoughts whether they are very positive very negative or most likely somewhere in between uh you can fill it out to whatever level of detail that you like. No matter what it is, it is very helpful. So thank you for doing that. Um, let's see. What's coming up then on the horizon? If this, if this month has been a stabilizing month, a preparation month per se, and we've been getting everything under order, we've been getting activity up, we've been getting some new people in, it's been very good, we got some recruitment going, then what's coming up? What's coming up later? How? What are we preparing for? Now, uh, Horace is going to talk a little bit about some outfit run events that we're uh, cooking up. But the main thing for the game is, of course, these upcoming updates. Um, namely, the changes to Osher, uh, which includes a full continent rework. If you've been out of the loop of full continent, basically shift and lattice change, along with a vast expansion to underwater combat and, of course, boats. We get boats, baby. We're going fucking naval. It's going to be it's going to be fantastic. Um, and then, of course, outside of the OSHA changes, Outfit Wars is going to be coming up. Now, we have very little info on either of these, uh, namely because we were supposed to be on the test server uh, doing play tests for the boats uh, this weekend, but we did not get to do that because there were some crashes related to the boats. So, no boats yet. However, we do have some basic info about the naval stuff and about uh, Outfit Wars coming up. now. What is it going to look like for SKL? We still don't know because maybe, maybe we'll be doing something specializing around boat training. Maybe it's going to be like we're going to have Marines. Maybe that'll be Infantry Academy. Maybe it'll be Armor Academy. Maybe we won't need it at all because, frankly, it's still just on one continent. Maybe they'll expand it to other continents as well and change stuff around. We don't know. We don't know. But definitely something to be thinking about um, and keeping posted on. Uh, you can also have that dev news ping, by the way, if you always want to be getting those pings about developer news. Um, and yeah, the the next major thing, however, is Outfit Wars. Oh, baby. Outfit Wars is coming back in a big new way, in a completely new way than we've ever had it before. Um, 
And it's gonna, we're going to change the way that we do it, uh, whether you're around for the last Outfit Wars or not. Basically, the last Outfit Wars ha have always been fairly casual for us. I mean, we've definitely tried, and we've made up a pretty solid roster each time and tried to strategize a little bit and, and put some effort in. Um, but at the end of the day, it was a 1v1v1 format on Desolation, on this special map. And what that means is that how prepared you are and how much you strategize and how good your players are and how good their KDs are and how good they are at clicking heads is not actually the decider ultimately because you might just get double teamed anyway. Um, this cycle of Alpha Wars, however, is going to be on a totally new map with a 1v1 format. Not only does this mean that we're not going to be, that, that it's going to be much more competitive, it also means that we're going to be playing up against other Vanu outfits, NSO outfits, um, and we got new strategies. We don't know what the map looks like. We don't know very much info about at all about how this new map is going to run. But the main thing is, this is going to be a much more competitive uh, Alpha Wars, much more like the Jaeger competitive events that are being run, you know, by the community um, outside of the official stuff. So what that means is that as we're getting close to Alpha Wars coming up. And as we're seeing this stuff happen, as we get some more details, we're going to start picking up our roster, okay? We're going to start organizing. Now, almost certainly, we're going to have Rage Twisted, our sort of competitive lead, hunter-killer lead, uh, be the one leading the charge in that department. Um, but we're going to be looking out for people of varying skills. Of course, when it comes to a 1v1, um, even though we're bringing a full platoon, we are going to need people who can who can click heads, who can get kills, right? Um, so we're going to see how casual we can be about it, right? On one hand, we want to be able to include most of the people who would really like to do it to at least get them into one match, right? It would be kind of nice. On the other hand, we do actually want to place pretty well. Uh, and it would be kind of a, a boon to SKL's reputation if we did fairly well in this 1v1 format against really, really good outfits that are out there, um, seeing as we are like the, the, the newbie outfit. So that's something that we'll be thinking about a lot. We'll probably be changing up our roster depending on you know who's available, whether we're doing really well, what who we're going up against, and what we're going to need to be able to actually compete with them, etc. But overall, it's going to be a <laughs> competitive planet side. It's going to be it's going to be fun and it's going to be interesting and definitely stay tuned and cheer on whoever it is who is participating in um, those outfit wars matches cuz it'll be uh, fucking fantastic. Um and yeah, that's pretty much it. So to everybody who's been who's new to the outfit, I know there's a lot of new people in here, and to everybody who's just started sort of stepping up and started trying things out, uh, thank you for being here. Thank you for jumping in. Thank you for doing cool stuff. Um, big ups to all the people who have been doing great stuff this month. You've done fantastic. Big ups to Poncho for the big Discord rework as well. And that's pretty much the gist. We're going to be getting ready for Alpha Wars and Osher changes coming up. Stay tuned. Have your pings prepared for all of that. Um, that's all. That's all from me for now. And now I'm going to pass it on over to Horace, who's going to give you some some OA and OSN info. I do believe you are ready, Horace. I am ready. Okay, thank you, Castor. There's a whole lot of useful information. One v one coming up for Alpha Wars. Really, really good stuff. Okay. So let me start with just running down for OSN, for anyone that has not looked at that channel before, Orbital Strike News, OSN, we take a whole bunch of events and information on Planetside in general, uh, myself and the other OSN staff, uh, we get together weekly, we take all of that and we post it into the Orbital Strike News channel, which you can find here, if you'd like. So that was the most recent posted one, we do our big rundown of all the events in general, and then we have our abbreviated schedule as well, so that uh, things are nice and easy to see. And as events come up, you'll be able to see those there. Um, now, as uh, overall strike news goes through, we get stuff for the week, but then we also have to have a way to get events in um, through the week without having a whole other everyone ping, because that's a lot of everyone pings if we get more events in. So that is what Flash News is. As Kyle Star was saying before, there's a whole lot of roles you can get in the 
roles in Academy Signup Channel, um, and the Flash News is one of them. And that's what we use. So everyone that has that, you get all the events and information updates um, that is not um, part of the at everyone that we post weekly for OSN. So really, really nice info to have. And that's just a, a brief rundown for anyone that's not familiar with OSN. Now, good reason to talk about OSN is some future events. Uh, one event that I have uh, planned at the moment, which is not currently in the schedule because it's not the week of at the moment, but on July 9th, um, I will be hosting a SKL style music night. Um, bring all your instruments and basically we want to just share um, a tune, a song, whatever. Um, so keep an eye out for that in Overwatch Strike News. There will be some more information on that. Um, yeah, Kronk, I wish we could get some actual music jams going. It's really hard to play multiple people at the same time across the internet, but that would be lovely. Um, yeah, so stay tuned for that this Thursday. We will be getting some news out for that, um, and I'll keep it nice and short for that. But that being said, I am trying to um, get some more events like that. Um, I've got a few more planned in the making as well, so keep an eye out for those. But Music Night is first, and I want to see as many instruments as we can. I want to see if we have any singers. Um, Ross, yeah, grab the violin. I would love to hear a violin. Um, so yeah, whatever. Drums count. You know, tapping your foot counts. If you can do a tune or a song, yes, Planet Side Theme. Bonus points for anyone who learns Planet Side Theme. Um, especially the NC one, which we were listening to spectacularly uh, just a number of minutes ago. So that is my super short rundown on some future community events um, and Orbital Strike news as it uh, pertains to that. So get ready for that. Watch OSN for some upcoming events, those ones, as well as some future trainings um, and future events in game as well. Okay, last thing from me is going to be some Officers Academy uh, updates. So in the past, first thing I'm going to go over is um, how we're going to do applications. Um, now, in the past, we have just kind of had it so that people would send in an application, um, we review it, we you know everything checks out, is good, and then we just kind of get them in. Um, but this would cause um, some... Uh, disruption, I guess, is a good word for it. Just kind of as we get more people in, it's like we, there's sometimes a while where, yeah, desync, there we go, that's a good word. Um, just where people feel kind of out of the loop, waiting for the next set of, of information and trainings come in. Um, not everyone starts at kind of the same place, and we, we really want to try and get everyone on the same page. So, from now on, um, what we're going to do is have applications done at the beginning of each month. Um, so I'm looking at July 1st for all the applications that are currently there um, and any ones that come in until then, July 1st, I'll be getting through, going through all the applications and accepting ones that are good um, and getting back to people on any information that I need before uh, I can accept them. Now, a question that comes up from that is, well, what if I want to join the Officers Academy uh, halfway through the month? You know, do I have to wait that long? And well, Yes, for now, that is something we're ironing out. That's on my brain. Because um, that is, yeah, it's, it's, you know, it's good to keep everyone on the same page, but there is that one caveat. That said, you do not have to be a Broodlord with an SKL, um, or any rank for that matter, to start up a squad with our tag. Um, and you do not have to be a Broodlord or up um, an SKL to be someone else's squad, uh, squad lead, uh, for a platoon lead that you enjoy running with. Um, so if you see Casta running, you see Rage running, Mike, myself, any of our other squ our platoon leads that are out there, you can say, hey, you know, I'm interested in getting some leading experience in before the new applications get uh, accepted, and, you know, ask them if uh, they'd be okay with you squad leading and get some experience that way. Um, and Officer Academy General, of course, is open to the public now as well, as of a couple of months ago, and so you also have uh, your question, your Q&A area there as well. Um, so that's going to be one change. Yeah, Friendly Farmer, always looking for more SLs. If I start a platoon, I'm like, okay, who's got it? You know, three three squad leads, let's go. Um, and I feel like that's a, a big part of everyone as well. Okay. Now, kind of to double on that, um, to kind of keep everyone on the same page with things, uh, the other thing that we're going to be implementing is really, really trying to get a few 
documents, recordings, um, up in the coming months that are basically like, if you do nothing else, we want to be sure, we want to hear from you um, in some way, shape, or form that you have gone through or watched the document or video. Um, again, just trying to make sure that everyone has the necessary information they need and that everyone is on the same page, um, which should also um, work well with just having everything at the beginning of the month. Uh, the applications, yeah, standardized. This is awesome. Um, and just trying to kind of, um, yeah, keep everyone on the same page. Okay, and I'll ping about that as well, um, to our lords and up as well after this town hall. Just say, hey, you know, this is uh, this is what I want you to see. The only thing that I'm going to require anyone to watch um, for July is the leadership meeting upcoming on July 2nd. That's for all the broodlords that are currently in and up, and any applications that I get in on July 1st. Um, and that'll be either if you're at the meeting, you know, that's good. If you react to the recording of the meeting, which I'll have up later, that's also good. Um, again, just making sure that everyone's on the same page, and then that'll be it for that month as far as uh, required uh, input and such. And we'll be looking more at this for August as well. Like I said, this will need to be fine-tuned. Um, but for now, this is this is what we're going for. You'll have the whole month to watch that one recording or be at that one meeting. Um, and then we will be good. And the whole reason is we want to really avoid burnout doing this. It's really, really easy to burn out being a lead in Planet Side, right? You've got the whole learning thing going on. You've got the in-game leading um, and just trying to work with mentors and stuff. So there's a lot going on. Um, especially kind of in the moment while you're leading, and so burnout can come fast if you don't watch. Um, and so we really, really, really want to make sure that we're not um, kind of making people burn out, but again, just wanted to make sure that we do better keeping everyone on the same page um, and at the same place. So that is that. Now the next part of the OA, which is kind of a uh, announcement just on the behind the scenes, um, is what's going to happen is throughout July, uh, myself and some other members um, of the leadership team in SKL, we're going to be getting together and doing a huge overhaul of our documentation uh, for leadership. So we're just making sure everything is good and up to date. If there's anything outdated, we're you know condensing things, making things easier to find. Um, so all of that, you can look forward to that. Um, and definitely we'll be pinging things. That'll, that's kind of also um, looking forward to... Um, more more condensed stuff so we'll have like hey you know if you look at nothing else this is what you need to see there's the brood lore pamphlet that we have kind of for that as well um but there's some other details for sure that i would very very much like everyone uh all the leads in scale to see so look forward to that that'll be through july looking at a documentation overhaul and once again that um last thing i guess on my list for announcements on the oa is do remember all the broodlords plus that are currently here and anyone who uh, sends in an application to the OA um, now through to the first when I'll do them on the first um, is the leadership meeting on the second and that will be I believe I set that at 6 p.m. Um, is our meet time but I'll be thinking about that later so yeah thank you very much uh, back to you Kazdar all right very nice yes yeah, so get those applications in if you're interested in the Officers Academy, uh, like all the academies, you can find the info about them in the Roll Academy Regiment Info channel. What a great channel that one is. Um, and yeah, keep an eye out for those uh, guides coming up. I expect some new leads to derive some nice and helpful info from that. So Rage, definitely watch those uh, before after wars, please. And yeah, hell yeah. Okay, uh, Mike. I'm going to pass it on over to you. All right, thanks. Yeah, a lot of good info you guys shared there. Um, so I'll be quick. I only got two things to go over. Um, Force Command, you guys, uh, I just wanted to say a couple things about it. Um, with regards to Force Command, you guys might know it as Outfit Ops. Uh, there's been a lot of renewed interest in it. So it came back last Friday and did really well. Um, it's the first one since the whole thing that went on in May. Uh, basically, I spent some time, reworked everything, and made the format a little more open, a little more flexible, got rid of some requirements, and 
we kind of presented the information that was already there, just kind of worded a bit differently. And the goal was just to attract more leads to come out to the event and not worry about having too much pressure on their plate. Um, so a couple of the things we did differently was we planned two weeks prior instead of like five or six days beforehand, so we gave more time to plan. And then uh, we also planned in the channel instead of starting a thread system, seeing as it was easier to follow. Um, I'm probably going to put a new channel up and label this one and archive it um, just to keep it going. Um, overall, we're just still trying to accomplish the same goal of a combined arm experience and have each element available on that night, air, armor, infantry, all working together as a team. Uh, this last go around, we didn't have a force command and we didn't have construction, but those are always like on the table for anyone that wants to uh, pick up and try. Uh, but it still doesn't impact too much on uh, up night itself. Um, so we're looking at maintaining force command, adapting it as needed, and we're looking at doing them. Uh, it was suggested by, I think it was Horace suggested that. We try and do it the Friday before town hall, which is great. It's just frequent enough to keep it relevant and not so frequent that it burns everyone out. So um, with that being said, we're looking at a return of it on the 29th or the 30th of July. So we'll start planning that next one here with the leaders uh, probably after town hall here or whenever I get the new panel up, which will probably be today, tomorrow, somewhere around there. Um, that's all I got for Force Command. Um, this past one, like I said, went really well. We won. I reached out to a couple outfits to work with us. VSPD was the only one that got back with us and kind of helped us out. So I'm not going to bother reaching out again, but there's some of the other outfits that might be in here. I tried reaching out to you. I reached out to an individual. Either didn't hear back or I said something in one of your channels and never got any reply. It's not a big deal, but out there willing to coordinate is all. Um, okay, so that's it for Force Command. 895 Black Sun Raiders. Uh, last town hall, I didn't have a lot to speak about it. Uh, there were still some things we were ironing out. Um, and a lot of people had some questions. So, firstly, if you don't know what it is, it is uh, a subset of SKL in the form of a regiment of renown for the Armor Academy. So, the other question is, is yes, it is a separate outfit that you can join. Um, its goal and purpose is to look for dedicated armor players and give them a place and tools to do things that we cannot currently do under the same roof. And what I'm saying by that is armory tools and ways we use the armory and maybe even organize and find players. Um, the main goal I'm looking for with 895 is to have one to two squads of armor that's organized, roaming and supporting alerts when we can. We're, we're here to support the alert um, when we can. And I say when we can because it, it, we rely a lot on command chat. And when command chat's having an off day, we're going to go and farm some fights and have some fun and contribute where we think we're going to have fun and be effective. Um, Overall, it's a place for our armor players. Um, best examples I could give you, some people log on the planet side and click heads. I, on the other hand, along with some other people, will log on and blow shit up in the tank. So that is what this place is for. It's public facing like SKL. There's no filter to get in, unlike some of the other armor outfits. There, there's always a niche thing with other armor outfits, whether it's skill or high cohesion. They're not bad things, they just don't incorporate a lot of people. I can get you a pretty close experience in 895 with armor, and then I can, you know, based on how what you're looking for, I can direct you in either direction. If you're looking for more like 1v1 gameplay, or if you're looking for more like high cohesion sweaty gameplay. And I can point you to other outfits other on other factions within our own faction that can do that kind of stuff and show you that experience and that game. So uh, with that being said, um, I've had a squad up pretty much every day for about an hour. 
Uh, I've been trying to met 784s uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday off schedule just so that we have some armor support on the VS front so we're not getting shit on by them too bad. Uh, I've generally been on between 6 and 7. And then I know Ross and Slate Philly, who are both swarmed, uh, help in some uh, help in some form with the Armor Academy. At least Slate Philly, he said, um, have been running their own squads as well in the off hours or whenever they can. So there's other leads that are helping out, doing stuff. Um, but if you're looking to get into the Armor side of things, that's what 895 is there for. Whether it's if you want, want to touch on leading dedicated armor, I'll help you out. If you want to improve your tanking skills, I could give you some pointers. I could point you to certain individuals in the community that can give you more perspective or better answers. It doesn't matter who. I'm not afraid to say I don't know everything because I don't. Um, but I'm hoping that the people that join enjoy, stay, hang out, enjoy the casual fun. And um, maybe those that are kind of on the fence about armor, maybe you join one of the squads one night and change your viewpoint on armor, you know? So it, it's here to stay. Um, I'm hoping that 895 kind of expands, kind of also in place for the anticipation of the uh, outfit assets rework and alliances, because if they allow alliances, Hopefully that means SKL, 895, Align, and then all of a sudden we have twice the armory space, and then we'll have the income of SKL plus all the storage that 895 would offer. Assuming it works that way is a lot of assumptions. That's all like speculation. That's not fact. That's just stuff in my brain. It's not a representation of the outfit. That's just my opinion. It's there. It's an option that's on the table. Pretty excited about it. But, uh... That's really all I got. I don't want to take up too much more time. It's half past the hour, and I pretty much said what I needed to say. I haven't looked at chat, so um, any questions, you can just go to here. I put the link for the structure of 895, and then you can also ask in general chat, and I'd be willing to address it there as well. But uh, that's all I got. I'm going to hand it back off to Kaz. Okay, thank you very much, Mike. Lots of good info there. If you are interested in armor, definitely be checking that out and also keep posted for the next Ops Night Force Command. Glad that was a resounding success and I'm excited for the next one. I will hopefully, hopefully be able to make it to that one. Um, and gosh, that kind of brings us to the close. Uh, that's pretty much all the info we have for you for this month. Once again, um, we're focusing on the upcoming outfit wars and updates. We're continuing along with events. We've got music night coming up. We've got a bastion poll coming up. Uh, and start practicing your your gunplay. Start practicing your infantry play. Start practicing your coordination, learning the ropes, and potentially getting ready if you would like to participate in outfit wars. Of course, um, we don't know what the rewards are going to be. But, at least in previous Alpha Wars, even just participating in it has come with some pretty cool, unique rewards, uh, such as unique knives and things like that. So definitely, if you would like to do that, uh, stay tuned. Definitely practice everything. Yep, yeah, it depends, of course, on what the map is, if armor is relevant, if air is relevant, things like that. But try to up your skill a little, maybe. Maybe join one of the academies and start checking it out. Join Infantry Academy, join Air Academy, join Armor Academy in 895. Go Construction Academy, even. If that becomes relevant, we don't know. But definitely. Start working on those skills if you would like to participate, because we are we are going to be choosing people who are going to be good. Of course, we're not going to choose. Uh, we're not going to be able to bring people who are, uh, you know, 0 0.1 KD. Not that we're only going to choose three KD, but you know, that's the that's that's the gist. Um, okay, is there any questions? Q and A time now for the end of this town hall. Any questions from anybody? You can drop them into the town hall chat channel. Why is guns? Uh, I think you're right, Mosa. I think you're right. Good point. Yeah, Rage is right. We, we usually don't have that many more over the amount that we are allowed to bring. Um, of course, we can always like drag in some random 
some random nerd from the from the main the main map just to you know participate but better definitely to sign up and uh be there yes we also definitely use ringers all the time because people just don't show up sometimes because that's you know, that's how real life goes yeah definitely stay tuned for those play tests as orbi has said um we're gonna be we're gonna be there and we're gonna be trying out those boats we're gonna be the first one on the scene i'm excited to boat around a little bit just get down to some boating look how cool this concept art is by the way i was just fishing around trying to find the black sun logo and i found all these like cool ass fucking images from the game this concept art if Sokar comes back, just the boat with us. That'd be kind of lit. Are you hearing that, Sokar? It'd be really cool if you came back. <gasps> Wait, these are so fucking cool. What the hell? Are these public? Am I allowed to share these? I think I'm allowed to share these. What the hell, dude? Look at this. Look at that. Imagine if Amrish looked like that. I'd live there. That's, you see how peaceful it is in that image? This is live footage from the TRNC front during every alert. Look how peaceful, no war, no fighting, no combat. God, paradise. Uh, Farmer, we sort of started on the recursion pack. Noah sort of started on it, and then it fizzled out because it takes a lot of effort to do a recursion voice pack, it turns out. And we have very low ideas, so... Maybe we'll finish that in the future, but for now, Recursion Voice Pack is a little bit off the project list. <laughs> Looks so nice. Gosh. Look at that. Look at that biolab up there. Get your imagination going for Planet Side 3. Gimme, gimme. Imagine flying. Couldn't be me, literally, because I am incapable of flying of scythe in any good way. I should really join the Air Academy, shouldn't I? I'd probably be smart. All right. Uh, well, looks like people should jump in game because there's an alert going on. So hop in there. Win that fucking alert for VS. I think this month our alert win percentage has been a little little lower than could be desired, but I think that's not necessarily, you know, something really totally under our control. Um, but you all have done brilliantly regardless. Then that about concludes this town hall if there are no more questions. Um, stay tuned. Get those pings. If the one thing you take away from this town hall should be that you should get that flash news ping in that regiment role academy regiment info channel and should uh, stay tuned for all the cool shit that's coming uh what music will we have next time <laughs> i'll come up with something i've got i've got music on music on music i did actually like the disney music this time that was a good vibe um can we dismantle mike's golden tonk and give it to the poor hitter yes we can sorry mike we're gonna strip the araxium off of your fucking chimera and give it to all the the newbies sorry yeah wowie wowie indeed all righty thank you all for coming to this town hall it's been an absolute pleasure um and i don't know somebody can play some outro music huh